All right, thanks, guys. The Flyers take on the Senators. 7.30 Eastern puck drop in Ottawa. The Flyers are the $1.30 favorites. Total 6.5. Nickel move toward Philadelphia. Picard's in net for Philly. Craig Anderson's for the Sens. Ottawa's 1-1-1 one, one, and one on the season. 3.7 goals a game on average they're scoring. Ottawa's 5-2 on the puck line in their last 7 with Philly. 15-7 straight up in their last 22 at home against the Flyers. Meanwhile, Philly on the other side, just 1-2 and two on the season. They're giving up 5 goals a game on average, 2-5 and five straight up in their last 7, dating back the last season. The Flyers are also averaging just 2.8 goals per game in their last 10 meetings with Ottawa. Now, total-wise, lots of overs between these two squads. 3-0 and to the over for both teams' 3 games respectively this season. Ottawa 6-1 and one to the over in their last seven games on their home ice dating back the last year. Philly's also going 4-2 to, um, four and two to the over in their last six themselves. So with all that said and done, looks like we could potentially uh, see a lot of goals here in Ottawa. Give me the underdog Senators plus a buck ten in the over. Six and a half goals in this one. And with that said, welcome to the show. Got some lines and personalines out for Wednesday's NHL action. But before we go ahead and get into all of that, I just want to remind you to quickly check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with a documented win percentage of 75% from my last 12 underdog picks on that website, you're costing yourself valuable information each and every day you're not subscribed. Packages begin at just $1.99 per month. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So once again, please feel free to just quickly hit that pause button right now and open up your browser. All you got to do is type in patreon.com slash Brock Page. It'll only take a few seconds. Link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you are watching me right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly Make it all worth it. And with all that said and done, let's go ahead and jump right back into some more lines and personal leans. That's going to be for our Wednesday slate of NHL action. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Vegas, Washington, 8 o'clock, nation's capital. The Caps are the $1.40 favorites in tonight's matchup. Total six goals. Nickel fade of the Caps in the early going here. Flurry's in net for the Knights. Holtby's in net for the Capitals. Washington's 5-0 ATS in their last five, dating back the last season. 5-1 straight up in their last six. Washington's also 4-1 ATS in their last five at home. And 4-1 on the puck line in their last five against Vegas. Now the Knights on the other side, just 1-6 on the puck line in their last seven, dating back the last season. They're also averaging just two goals a game thus far this year in three contests and find themselves at just one and two on the season. Now, total-wise, the total stayed under in four out of Vegas' last six, dating back to last year. They're also scoring just two goals a game on the road and giving up just two and a half. Meanwhile, on the Washington side, they shut out Boston seven to nothing in their lone home game of the season. So with all that said and done, I think tonight's game between these two teams will play out a lot more different than most are expecting Give me the Washington Capitals, minus one and a half for plus 190 in the under. Six goals in this one. Next and final game for the show, Coyotes, Ducks, 10 o'clock Anaheim. The Ducks are buck 55, totals five and a half. Ronta's for the Coyotes, Gibson's for the Ducks. Anaheim's 3-0 on the season. They're giving up just 1.3 goals a game on average in those three contests. They're taking on an Arizona squad who's winless in two matchups thus far in the season. They failed to score in those couple of games, still scoreless for the 2018 season. The Coyotes have historically struggled against the Ducks as well, just 2-7-1 in their last 10 meetings with Anaheim. The Ducks, on the other side, uh, are 8-2 and two straight up in their last 10 games at home, dating back to last season. Now, total-wise, Arizona's 5-1 and one to the under in their last six, 4-2 and two to the under in their last six away from home. And as bad as this Coyotes offense has been, they're only giving up two goals a game on average. So with all that said and done, I think this one stays close. I think this one stays under. And I think Anaheim gets an empty netter. Give me the Mighty Ducks minus 1.5 on the puck line and the under. 5.5 goals in this one. All right, folks, that is going to do it for me. But before I get out of here, I just want to remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. 
And with a documented win percentage of 75% for my last 12 underdog picks on that website, you're costing yourself valuable information each and every day you're not subscribed. Now, memberships begin at just $1.99 per month. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So once again, please just feel free to quickly hit that pause button on this video right now or finish the video, uh, but definitely open up your browser and just type in patreon.com slash Brock Page. It'll only take a few seconds. Link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you are currently watching me right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly make it all worth it. And most importantly, thank you for watching today's program. I hope you enjoyed all this great free information. And please don't forget to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page.